Hello everyone, welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2, where we are here with Sir James the Knight, who has dyspraxia, fine motor controls are your foe, items go flying, and the antique, antique thera, rare relic gain 10% more damage, more magic damage per enemy defeated, bonus lost when hit, max 50%. So, with that all ready, let's go see what these flying items are all about. So it's probably about time to start thinking about trying to learn the patterns for the first boss with some real effort. Are these coins just leaping slightly higher? A little bit of pogoing to start the day. Oh god, they, there are more of them. I don't want to be hit in the head. Got you. Right. This That's going to be a tougher sell. I guess we can just hit them when they come over to the edge, though. Please. Thank you. And we can hit them from below, so everything is gravy. Let's go up. Uh, custom room. Just hop on the lights. Get the cash. Break them on our way down for even more cash. Alright, that's out of the way. Let's go to the right. More Poe going, because why put yourself at risk if you don't have to? Okay, we're up here now. This was not expected. But it's totally fine. Alright, since we're here, we'll carry on up. I should figure out what my magic is doing as well. Why is block that I definitely don't use enough? Oh god. How dare you try to casually shoot me from off screen. Seems pretty rude, sir. We are also healing with vampirism for every attack that we make, which is lovely. Yeah, I, I think that's pretty pretty good magic attack, really. Pretty solid. Static blade can get wrecked. These flame locks cannot shoot through the walls, unlike some of the other enemies. That one gets popped. You're going to get popped as well. How about you? You want some? Good, right go make sure we collect our spoils. We have so much still to buy. Alright. I missed what hit us, but it's no bother. Give me another chest. Without any specific guidance, I don't really know if there's a specific direction I should be looking to try and find the boss, or whether it really is just randomly placed somewhere on the dungeon floor. Quick thinking there. We're going down on this side. After this guy chills out, hopefully. There you go. Bag of cash behind the sofa. Very welcome. Uh, puzzle challenge. Time limit. 15 seconds. Sure. Oh, God. Yeah, that's just rude. That is just rude. That's also rude. All right, we're not getting through that today. <laughs> Never mind. Fortunately, I still remember that we can dash through stuff in an emergency. That was a cheap shot. He got lucky. You know it, I know it. Those guys I like. They just stay still, not bothering anyone. 
Make sure we avoid the giant flaming ball. Seems daft to get one of those installed in your house, really. I don't know what real illumination effect it's having. All right, we have made it to the boss. Get our extra cash. And the map doesn't show me anything that I'm so invested in that I think we should go off and get it instead of just hopping into the boss and seeing what we can achieve, particularly with this magic spell that seems like it might be quite useful. Hello. However, I'm not looking forward to doing this without a proper ranged attack. Oh, the patterns. I don't know the patterns. Yeah, that's going to hit me really hard. That's going to jump into me, sure. Yeah, if I'm going to succeed in this fight... I'm going to need a ranged weapon. <laughs> At least for the short term. 1,047 gold. Right, Lady Bisa the Valkyrie. Emotional dysregularity. Doesn't have a gold bonus associated with it, which is strange. Antique Clothio's Spindle. And Lady Katie the Mage. Alright, we'll go with the Mage just because that is the ranged weapon attack that I'm most comfortable with. We have a bunch of cash. So let's increase our intelligence raising spell and talent damage. And that consumed a large chunk of our cash immediately. There are affordable items at the dock though, I am told. Hey kid, you heading out? Well, be forged you go. Don't forge get to get something. You like that? A bit of blacksmith humor. Uh, we can afford a Scholar's Helm. Cost not applicable. Oh, that's because I was on the wrong item. Um, that leaves us with three gold. Scholarly unit. Weight. Vitality. I, I, I'm looking at stats and I don't know what I'm taking away from this. Give me the Scholar Helm. We're a wizard. That will be helpful, I'm sure. And away we go. Yes, take my pennies. What few of them remain. So, Mage has a ranged attack. And we crit with that attack if we land the attack directly in the circle of our foe. What we can't do is aim up or down. That's incredibly rude. Oh, I did not even see that secret there. But it's mine now. Extra treasure for me. Now, we're not getting any bonuses because we don't have any genetic changes impacting what we're going to get. But our magic does go through walls. That is an excellent thing to remember. Right, we are completely out of mana. But our attacks do get us mana back, which is lovely. And just like that, we've got 150 mana, so I'm not going to complain. 
Right, as ever, let's keep moving upwards. That's my favourite direction. Oh, goodness. Okay. We can do this. It's just one of those, one of those. Yeah, just careen directly into all the spikes. Every spike. Give me, give me the gold, thank you. Alright, it's probably not worth the health investment, if I'm honest. I need food, not mana balls. Oh, joy. Alright, as long as you don't leave these platforms, they won't break. So we've got plenty of time to traverse this with no hurry. That's also what that means, isn't it? No hurry means plenty of time. Is this a blue door or a red door on the map? It was some kind of color. Uh, requires aether wings. I guess we don't have those. It's going to be some kind of special thing that we don't have. Although, we can stand on that one. Why can't we stand on the next one up? I guess just because I can't reach it. I'd love it if I could, though. But I'm guessing the geometry has been well-crafted by the developers to not let me do that. Fine, give me your wares, and I'll be on my way. We'll find the Aether Wings someday. Uh... You can get dead. Oi! I said get dead. Thank you. Must remember our spells can penetrate through walls. I do not like that guy's presence. But, you know, that's what magic is for. This is just free stuff. And I love free stuff. I should probably start thinking about things that I would like to buy in the shop. And then making sure I can try and save up at least that amount on each trip. So, that door went through a red door. Is this red door on the right-hand side going to be a different area? Or the same area, just a different entrance to it? Or is this going off to the docks? Because we saw the docks once. I think this is the docks. Which I totally do not need to concern myself with going around right now. Nor do I need to worry about this door, I think. Attention, Gregory. The bridge has fallen to the shift just like everything else. And with sections of the bridge constantly switching places, the estuaries have deemed it too dangerous to strip supplies to our outlying villages. The people won't make it to the next harvest if we don't help. Therefore, I want you to make a call for volunteers. We shall lead shipments ourselves if we must, but in order to cross, you will need an heirloom contained in the gatehouse's tower. Yeah, I did that without even needing your hint. But thank you for guiding me if I was unable to procure such knowledge. Because I went straight into that door up there. Anywho, back to where we were previously. Right, our health currently is pretty good. Jesus, what is this room? Right, I'm just going to do this. It's not going to work. I mean, that works. It's going to be a minute, but, you know. I also don't really know how we're going to deal with the thorns. Oh, don't tell me they healed up. They did. All right. Screw that room. If they're back at full health, I'm not repeating that to fail multiple times in a row. Going left through here and then down, it seems. Thank you for not hitting the other spiky ball. Fairy chest. Open me. Time limit. Five seconds. Ah, 
I totally was unprepared for the hit all targets thing. Otherwise, I would have pressed Y. Not that we had any mana, so I don't have to feel too bad. Right. This room is annoying to navigate through, but not problematic. And knowing what we're getting into, we can move through a little faster. Right. Any more foes over here that we did not kill? No, just a spiky boy. That is not an enemy, that is a teleporter. We can break those down with a spiky jump. Love to see it. And this way there was another door or a passageway or something. Right, avoid the fire, please. Thank you. Good. Grab the cash. They can get wrecked as well. There is a spiky sword underneath us. There it is. It says 15 on that, but I think it's a timer thing. I can switch it off at my whim and leisure. Uh, okay. I'll have a big fight with you. But I will get some mana first. Oh, jeez. What are you? You are the elite enemy of my nightmares. But at the same time, you did give me a full charge of mana, so I can't be mad. So let's hop in through here. Oh god, yep. Yeah. Be on the ball. Be on the ball. That's a spiky boy. You know what? If we're killing stuff, we can just keep this up, right? Because it will just keep hitting stuff for me. By hitting stuff for me, I mean refilling my mana when I hit stuff. But I'm going to die and then be out of mana, aren't I? More? Yep. Yep, lots more. Oh god. This is a nightmare. my reward just a bunch of cash sure probably not worth all of the health I spent on it but you know I do not want to be in this place anymore to be fair I don't really want to be in this one either Now, we are healing a tiny bit every time we kill something. So you're saying, if I just suddenly and miraculously get good, there is a chance I could get back all of my missing HP. Well, with that in mind, there's like a bunch of HP out of food. Super grateful to have that. This is going around in a square, evidently. If we do this room, then these guys can be shot through the wall. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. You're dead now. Stay that way, please. This is just a... Oh, this is a relic room. Skeleton key. For every window... Every... Every door a window, every chest a reward... Or a cornucopia. Be generous to others. You have more than you know. 
Give me the generosity. Health drops restore an additional 8% of your max health. I mean, it's kind of perfect. It's kind of exactly what I wanted and needed, so I am grateful. Now I just need those aforementioned health drops. I need to go left through here. Oh god. Okay, this is not where I want to be. Alright, we muddle through. I'm not even sure what room I'm trying to get to currently. Let's see. We've got two rooms below us under here. Teleport through. Yeah, I don't need the mana. I need the food. Please, feed me. Feed me, daddy. I apologize. There was no need for that at all. Get it. Get the, get the spiky hands. I dislike their spiky hands. Do the statues always have actual drops in? Apparently not. Thank you for letting me confirm my experiment immediately. Yes, yes. Lots of mana, no food. I understand. It's a fun game to play. Giving me a thing that increases my health and then taking it away from me. Oh, come on. Come on, thumbs. You can do it. Yes. Demeter's Trial. Choose this relic to reveal its power. War drum. A signal to the people to take arms. There will be no quarter for those who hide. Those who give now will later be rewarded. Let's take this. This sounds similar to the food thing. Until purified, any hit taken is fatal. Collect two food or potions to purify this relic and gain 85 max health and 50 mana. Okay. Then... We really, really need to find some food. Now, we can backtrack through places we've been to try and find it, but we've been fairly thorough about destroying stuff on our way through. Where are we going? We can go all the way to the left through here, I guess. I know I left some torches hanging around just because... They were up high. But cash is not food or mana drops, unfortunately. As much as I wish it were. Nothing there. Get the stabby hand. I only wanted to do that once, but, you know, it is what it is. I wish that chest was full of food, but no, they can't do that to me either. That's right, we shall... I was going to say progress, but it's not the word I want. Can I destroy this table? Persevere, that's the word I wanted. The boss... Oh, God boss chamber has got to be around here somewhere. I cannot possibly kill them. Oh, 
the story. Oh, we've seen that one, it seems. Alright. We found the boss room. We cannot possibly go and fight them because any attack is death to us at the moment. These iron balls don't scare me. There's one room right in the center there that we missed. And it's going to be a great big loop to get back round to it, isn't it? I guess we could take the teleporter. Oh, there's a teleporter right here. Uh, take me to that one. Hopefully this part of the room is safe. Yes. Then we need to go left up. Down, left, up. Sounds like an old cheat code. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Thank you. You're not going to have food in you, are you? No. Right, what's in here? Lots of barrels. I like barrels. Jesus. I wasn't ready for that. What I need is my spell to be ready. That's food, though. I can eat the food. Then I need one more thing, I think. All right, that's 127 mana, so I can do this. That's helpful. There's food here as well. So I think we are rid of that curse. And our max HP has just increased. Which is excellent. I feel like this is a mini boss in of itself. And I've just destroyed the platform I need. But we can do this again. Except I missed. Oh god. Just just be dead. Just be dead. Just be dead. Thank you. Alright, I think that's everything in this part of the dungeon, apart from like one chest that seemed like absolute hell to try and retrieve. We have really high max HP now, just none of it is full. And now seems like a terrible time to try and fight the boss. But what other option do we have? If we go up, we don't have the fancy shoes. Oh god. Oh, that was too close. If we go down, I think we're destined to instantly die without a certain type of relic or something. See if we can find some food down here or something, but I'm not holding out high hopes. Mushrooms have cash in them, obviously. Teleporters. Right, we've hit one of the tuning forks. We did learn about that. That puts the rest of them on the map. But these barriers, we cannot pass through. They will instantly kill us. There is something called a walnut in front of us that is dead now. You know, just casually killing a level 102 weed. Hi, blobfish. Bubbly fish. Sure, I can handle that. Just. Mr. 
Mr. Bones. Of course it's Mr. Bones. Right, I'm just going to pop... Oh, I was about to pop my giant straight lightning shot spell thing. But Lady Katie has been slain by a bubbly fish. Well, you know, we got a massive amount of cash out of it. More lore. 1,000 years. 1,000 more. And our descendants. Sir Tommy, the duelist. Lady Kimberly, the mage with hollow bones. Or Sir Devon, the barbarian. CIP gold, hollow bones. Poison bombs, lightning storms. Give me another mage. I feel like we did reasonably okay there, right? Let's think about where we put this. Gold given to Charon is now considered a charitable donation. Giving Charon gold grants stat bonuses. The living safe tracks how much you've given. Interesting. That's a one of one upgrade. Mediation studies restore health and mana when entering a boss chamber. I could surely benefit from that. Drill store introduce very specific competition and reduce the architect's crazy prices. Increase strength raising damage. Increase strength raising damage. Guild of Dark Arts unlocks assassins. I mean, yes. Unlock an assassin for me. And yes, I will play an assassin because we're playing the exact same class twice in a row there. Yoga class, more decks. What do we have over here? Unlock gunslingers. Next time, gunslinger. Next time. All right, give me more strength. And we will get out of here with our 234 gold. Hollow Bones, we know that one. You fall slowly. Poison Bombs. What can we do? So we do a three hit flurry. That's intriguing. I guess that's on some kind of a murder cooldown. Looking spooky. Assassins scare me because of their speed and damage. If you want to get in and out, nothing beats assassins with their dual blades and their shadowy cloaks. Assassins may be squishy, but if you get the hang of them, you can wipe out most enemies before they have a chance to strike. This intrigues me. Karan, let us be off. have hollow bones so we mustn't get too used to that so it seems it is attacks or kills or something that cools down our cloak. But it's still on eight. How do I cool you down? All right, that's going to be a really annoying door to open. And the hollow bones has got my expectations of how we move all over the shop. Alright, well our cloak is back. If we could get to the boss with the cloak, I imagine we might be able to use that to avoid some of the more annoying attacks. How effective that will actually be, though, remains to be seen. Oh, jeez. Okay, you're big and scary. McRib.
Well, the poison bomb sure did a lot of work there. Right, let's stay in this area. That is a really big room. It's a really, really big room. Yep. Still don't really understand the cooldown here. But there is our boss room. And we get a fancy chest, a leather trinket, a beautiful piece of weathered leather. Alright, let's just go give this a go. Otherwise we'll be here all day. I can't be in him when I attack this acid bomb was totally wasted yeah I should miss that one where possible as well oh and that as well yep And that, I just can't learn any of the telegraphs on that fight. 540 gold, probably not enough to earn gunslingers. FMF fan. Or exploding casket syndrome. I do not like exploding casket syndrome. Right, can we afford anything here? No, but we can afford stuff at the docks, so we'll pay a visit. FMF fan. You have good taste. You're probably Korean. I don't know what that means. Is it like a food thing or something? Show me your wares, sir. Buy the leather band. Don't have enough cash for the leather chest, but I bet once we do, we can have the full set and get some kind of bonus. But for now, I think that is most of our cash spent and most of my ability to make any progress for today. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.